Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to be reviewing Silver the Hedgehog, the 4-inch Sonic figure. Finally, it's been uh, a little while since my last video, and I am almost done with the Sonic ones. I only have 8 figures left, um, and more like 5, because I'm going to wait to get the movie ones till a little later, unless I see them at Target next time I go. Um, if, but... Uh, I'm going to go to Target soon, see if they have any of the Sonic figures, and if they don't, I'm probably going to get that Octane uh, while I still can. Um, take a little break from Sonic stuff, because I know it might be getting a little repetitive. But I would like to thank you all. We're almost at 70 subscribers now. Uh, last I checked, it was 67. So thank you all so much for that. And yeah, uh, let's get into the figure, though. So the box... Whoever sent, whoever shipped this, I got it off of Amazon. It was probably a third-party seller. Put a big sticker right over Sonic's face, the decorations on the box, which kind of sucks. So, um, but I don't really keep the box. Just, I guess, if you can, just don't get it at Amazon or on Amazon. But he does have a huge ring back here. Uh, like, sort of the, just like every other box, I guess. Uh, Sonic logo, Jack's logo, Silver, his name right there. A couple of warnings right there. He has a red ring, a red star ring, I guess is what it's technically called. Um, then this is a, obviously a huge window to see the figure. And then you can see him on the side, bottom, top, other side. Uh, I already said bottom. And then on the back, uh, Sonic logo again, which is getting kind of cut off, but... There you go, you can see it. Then it says Silver's name with red star ring, 11 points of articulation, just like every other Sonic figure. Um, his description is a mysterious herald from the future. Collect them all. His series is Sonic, Tails, Silver, and uh, Omega. And something weird I noticed with Omega and then the anniversary version of Sonic is that they both come with a yellow Chaos Emerald. So that's a little weird because I was going to get, I thought that uh, Sonic, the anniversary one, only came with the yellow one, but I don't know if he doesn't, I'm not going to get him, because I don't like the look very much, I just want the emeralds, so, uh, yeah, and then a bunch of stuff right down here, I don't know, if they obviously put a sticker and then decided, nope, not that's not a good sticker, let's put it again right here, so, if I were someone who kept the boxes, I'm sure I'd be a little mad that they, like, haphazardly put stickers all over it and ripped them off and put them back on and, like, covered up all the, like, covered up Sonic's face with it. Yeah, I'm sure if I was, uh, if I like to keep the boxes, I'm sure I'd be pretty pissed, but, uh, I don't just, don't get them off of Amazon, apparently, because, wow, they, like, the box is in good condition, but they just keep putting stickers on, taking them off and putting them back on. It's, like, really weird. Uh, but yeah, let's get to the figure inside. Alright, and here he is straight out of the package. And so far, um, it barely took two seconds and he's probably one of my favorites. I mean, he is my one of my favorite Sonic characters. Um, I think he's pretty cool uh, overall. But um, it's not just bias speaking here. His He's really sturdy too. Like, unlike um, if you take... Tails are supersonic here, supersonic, really loose, like, head just flops all the way around, and, um, tails especially, like, I just took him out of the box and his legs, the bin I have him in, his legs were both facing this way, I took him out of the bin just now, and, yeah, they were both facing backwards, um, so yeah, like, the, like, they made him pretty well, or like Sonic and his really wobbly legs. He doesn't have any of those quality control problems, really. He is up there with Amy and my favorites now because, I mean, Jax actually made him well. I mean, that's what happens, like, with good quality control. Like, look at, th look at this. I mean, you shake him, and he's just sturdy. So, that's great. Um, ooh, ears just start ringing out of nowhere. Holy cow. Oh, <laughs> one moment. Okay, that was weird. Okay, my ears just started ringing out of nowhere. That, okay. Uh, anyways, let's just take a look at probably the accessory first. Um, he comes with this red star ring, which looks really good. It's made out of some nice, uh, thick red plastic. 
And yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. It looks like it does in the games. I mean, if you, in Sonic Forces, you collect these. Um, Sonic Dash, you know, the, these are just kind of the deluxe rings, I guess, in that. They get you more stuff, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really accurate to the games. So, um, there's that. But now to the figure. Um, yeah, the paint is great. I mean... As I said, this is a Jack specific figure where just like Amy, there wasn't really anything wrong with the paint or anything. Although I will admit recently, I forgot to take Amy's hammer out while I was traveling with her. And um, yeah, some it kind of like fell out of her hand weird where instead of coming out like this, it sort of fell out like this, like kind of came out like that in her hand. And then it scraped the paint off the handle I'm, like, really mad about that, like, if it'll focus. You can see it, though, like, it scraped the paint off the handle on two different sides, which is super annoying, and it got all over an Amy's glove. I wish it'd focus, but, yeah. Really sucks. So, uh, pro tip, if you have these Sonic figures, take the accessories out when you're transporting them, or else bad things will happen. But, uh, Silver himself, um, he stands really well, I mean... Uh, he has huge, uh, boots anyways, but, I mean, you know, generally Sonic figures are pretty top-heavy, and especially him. I mean, look at that. Look at that. These fins are humongous on his head. You'd think that he'd be falling over, but, uh, these huge boots really help him stay up, so he stands awesome on his own. Uh, his head, or I suppose, let's do the paint before articulation, uh, and details. Um, they got, like, his boots pretty basically just perfect game accurate his gloves same thing um he's he got that like weird eyeliner is this like out of focus that's so weird it keeps going out of focus um like the he has the chest fuzz like shadow except it's like a scarf where it wraps all the way around like that so yeah um he's really cool uh i've seen a couple reviews on this guy um, and a lot of people say they don't like him, just they don't think his design is very good on its own. I personally think he looks awesome. Like, I think this is one of the coolest Sonic designs, so I don't know. Um, but, like, there's a few people who I've seen their reviews on. They just say, like, right out of the box, I don't like him. That's because I don't like his design. It's like, wow, I didn't, I think it looks cool. So, um, but I can see where they're coming from. I mean, he looks pretty wild. That's why I like him. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, as far as articulation goes, his head is a little, like, this scarf thing kind of limits his left to right, so he can look left to right, just not that much. Um, this chest fuzz limits that, but his uh, arms move up this far and down that far. Um, they move all the way, uh, nope. They move up that far, they move down that far, um, and the legs can kick this far out, so you can't quite get him into sitting, so I guess um, even though he can stand well, his articulation certainly isn't as good as, let's say, I don't know, where is he, Sonic, just to take out our main man here where he can like fully sit down, like perfectly, Silver more has to can do that so he doesn't sit down very well um i guess he kind of does so you can get him into a sitting position and he is able to like all the other ones do the splits i'm sure well, maybe maybe not even do the splits he's a little limited isn't he he can't he can't put his uh like he can't reach the ground entirely like sonic can so uh, as articulation goes, he is pretty limited, surprisingly. Um, every other figure up until this point, up until him, has been able to do the splits. So um, Articulation isn't the best with him. Uh, you can get him into a lot of good poses still, obviously. But, I mean, he is pretty uh, limited. So, yeah. Um, but he still looks great. So, yeah. This is going to be a shorter video, obviously, because, I mean, it's a Sonic figure, like a 4-inch Sonic figure. Oh, I forgot uh, one more thing, though. His knees bend in. Uh, fiddle bend. 
Oh, and these knees feel really nice, by the way. Like the, it doesn't feel like they're just gonna snap out. So only problem is they aren't moving very well right now. I just got them, so that might have something to do with it. I need to get the knees broken and there we go. His knees kick in that far, but yeah, I mean, they definitely feel sturdy. I mean, you can get them to move pretty, uh, like with force, takes a little bit of force to move his knees right now. It'll probably, yeah. Um, and his ankles move all the way around and rotate like that. So yeah, uh, I think he's great. Um, it's not just bias, obviously. I mean, like, as I said, I mean, he, he just looks great. And I mean, his articulation isn't up to par and that does lose him a couple points. But I mean, he still is um, up there on one of my favorites, just visually. So, and I mean, he's able to stand. I mean, Shadow can stand, but takes a lot of finicking and stuff and yeah so and look he he just crashed into silver and silver is still standing so that's great and i can just kind of well probably not drop him like that no figure can stand if you just drop him but you know it doesn't take much you can get him standing in almost any different position i'm sure so probably not on one foot though he's still a little top heavy but yeah so you can get him in a lot of positions and he'll stand pretty well uh yeah um, but let's get into some size comparisons here. So, uh, oh wait, before I do that, let's go there. I want to actually get the measurements in. So, he does stand at about, if you're just counting to the top of his head, about, like, yeah, four inches. But if you're going up to this thing right here, uh, his very top fin, let's move him back a little bit. Yeah, he's about a five inch figure. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, but I guess technically he like up to here is four inches. So yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get into some size comparisons here. Here he is with Shadow and Sonic, like in uh, Sonic 06 when they all go, or when they're all about to go super or whatever, I guess. I haven't played Sonic 06, I, or Sonic 06 but I know they all go super. Um, so yeah, it's nice that I was able to get supersonic, but um, chances of co fully completing my collection are very slim, unless I want to pay like $100 to get Super Shadow, which I don't. So um, that sucks if anyone knows where I can get them for re retail price, if even possible remotely. That'd be nice. If not, yeah, I guess I'll just have supersonic, but Hopefully they make Super Silver too, I'll definitely buy that. And here he is next to Tails and Amy, right here. Maybe get the hammer out of her face, stand her up tall like that. So here is next to Tails and Amy. Center it a little more, there we go. And here he is next to Eggman and um, Metal Sonic here. There we go, I had a little weird white mark on him. Uh, Eggman and Metal Sonic. And here he is next to Super Sonic and Movie Sonic. And that's the end of the Silver the Hedgehog review. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. This channel has been growing very rapidly and I'd like to thank you for that. Uh, so yeah, we're on the road to 100. So um, I know that's compared to a lot of the other reviewers, pretty small. But I mean, it'd be nice to get to it. So uh Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.